So you good? Is it good? Yeah, this good. Okay. okay, sorry, it's my first time. Um, you know. Your first time what? Zooming? Come yeah. on, I'm mean, on no, no, your first time on camera. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> got jokey jokes. Oh uh. uh, God. All right, so we are talking to right now our special guest in the building. You well, might have wonder. In the building. Well, not in the building, but in the building via Zoom. Virtually here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when I wonder why the place so wet and all these things. Well, Mr. Water Park, mystical in the, in, in the building via Zoom. There we go, yeah. Ooh, ooh, oh, God. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh, God. Say hello to the ladies here. Hi. What an intro. There we go, there we go. So, yeah, there we go. (laughs) All right, so mystical, walk one. Oh, yeah, have dinner there now? Oh, um, you know, busy schedule. (laughs) I see, me expect you for day in your room, you know, like a setup for a shoot. No, we can't put that out to everybody to see. <laughs> Let's get them up for peer for that. Subscribe. Oh my god. Yeah, we can't do that. Well, I was tempted <laughs> to subscribe to your channel today, though, know, because preparing, trying to prepare for this interview, I'm like, should I? <laughs> I'm like, hmm. What well, you don't know, no, so I can get some samples no. from Twitter. <laughs> You hear us? What you said? No, you. Yes, I said no. You couldn't do that because you love me. Yo, I love you. <laughs> yes, you love I know me. all my money's gone. <laughs> oh, as me that's so like we don't get samples on Twitter and them thing there. Yeah, that's okay. Right. Like see one here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you got the good, good. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that there, Jaws? Wait, but I have to ask. First question out the gate. First question out the gate. Yeah. I was looking on your Instagram and your... You're looking... On your Instagram. Right? One second. You not hear yeah. me? Yeah, you hear me now? Yeah. Um, oh. One second. Okay, I can hear you now. Okay, okay, great. So I was looking at your Instagram and I was saying, um, your body is great because it's slim thick. But your ass, like, is it real? Is it your ass for real? <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> Damn. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just, just say with you, we'll be looking at videos for reference while we talk. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so everybody assumes that your body is, well, at least your ass is done. That's the, that's the main, yeah. Yes, everyone has assumed that since I was much younger. Yeah. You mind doing like a 360 for the camera right now? Um, <laughs> Sure, no yeah, problem. Yeah, it's all on 360. <laughs> Let's see the full fit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You see that, Jaws? Yeah. Okay. Ah, Jaws, yeah. Yo, you see that, Jaws? Yeah. You see the recoil? You see the recoil, Jaws? That was nice I see, recoil. I, see. I know. Nice like, recoil. I'm sure so many people think, like, who's your doctor? <laughs> Where did you go? Yeah. Oh, no, it's really bad. Even I have people come in on my stuff and they're like, stop telling lies. You did your body. Be real with the people. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, I wish. I wish I could, but. So what? You would that. You would if you could? Yeah. yeah. I would if I could because um, I would want to like fill out my hip dips a bit. But So what's stopping you? Under- what's stopping you? Oh, because I don't have enough weight for that kind of. Uh, yeah. yeah and i mean you're not like that's what i said slim yeah thick. like that's you so you the need small for waist on. and you have the hip on the ass yeah yeah need for doing a surgery thank you and i'm sure your fans only your fans <laughs> <laughs> agrees with oh, you yes, they're like don't do it girl you can do so it. what about your breast then would i do them there oh actually i made an appointment to do them recently but when I asked my fans, they were like, no, you nah. are fine. Leave them alone. Yeah, nah, don't <laughs> do I'm it. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> oh, I think it would help with my career. You think so? Well, yes. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Say anything. You yeah, can say anything. Yeah, yeah. You can cut it out later. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, 
there's this position basically that um they do the girls do with their breasts and you know they put the oh they put a penis yeah man yeah <laughs> fuck yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, oh I'm not have no bobby for really yeah <laughs> so, oh so so oh, wait then okay. that's primarily the reason why you get them like for yes because i think it just would look better and if it looks better and you can do it you make more money oh, okay, okay. I you can do a little, to do a back. little. <laughs> F- find and a small yeah. penis to do it with. <laughs> the small penis give the appearance of big breasts. No, but I don't like small penis. Though, oh. so that's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get in that. I rather that might get into you later. But wow. How I go on like them thing that we're yeah. doing it with the breasts is a gift for real. Like, yeah. you really have to be gifted with that. But yeah. you talk about your career. Talk about you get into this line of work. Well, basically, I had a friend. Well, I still have him. He's my manager now. But my friend was a photographer. Mm -hmm. And he also manages, like, several different OnlyFans girls. Right. So, I used to be a stripper at Taboo, the one in Miami, because I live in Miami. Okay. You know, sometimes being, like, they're physically in the club with different men, it can be a bit much because they feel like they have the right to touch you. Yeah. It's unsafe. It's not very safe. You know, arguments, like... After a while, it was just too much, and Tabu ended up getting closed down, and I was home, and I was like, I need to find some other source of, you know, income. But the mm-hmm. thing about me is because I was already into the nightlife and the, the fast money. Yeah. It wouldn't, for me to adjust for making, like, on a weekend, I could make, like, $10,000 on a weekend at Tabu. To what 9 to 5 possibly am I going to do? <laughs> That's really going to do that for me. It's going to be, like, it's yeah. not gonna level up. So I was like, okay. I was seeing my manager manage all these girls. I used to be like his little assistant. So I would come to the shoots, help him set up the cameras, the lights. I would watch what's going on. And from speaking to the girls, I mean, the girls were making a lot of money. Like, and I really was inspired just to see like the lifestyle that they were living and stuff. And I was like, okay, I think I could do this too. Yeah. But I wasn't completely sure if I wanted to up until. I fell out with a friend and they posted like a lot of n- nudes and stuff. Oh no. Off me on Twitter. They posted it on Twitter and made me a whole Twitter account. Mm. No. And it was going like, it was all over and everyone's like, she's on Twitter and they were actually charging people cash apps and getting money. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> they what? Money? <laughs> <laughs> no way. So I'm wait, like, was no. it a friend? You say it's a friend. It, was a, it wasn't in sexual in nature because that would be um, revenge no, porn. No, it was just one of my, no, it was just like a female friend. So oh, okay. we had a falling out. And yeah, so I was like, Ugh, when I see so how mean. the Twitter blew up and it wasn't actually me. And it was, in my opinion, I wouldn't say it was poor work, but it wasn't like work that I actually prepared to do. You know, you're just playing around with your camera and yeah. your room. So I was like, imagine if I actually made up my mind to actually do it. Mm-hmm. How could it look? And I did it and it was just... Look at God. So, so what was what was meant to shame you? Wait, wait. When the mic reaching at Ari Han, like, so, what, what yeah. Ari Han? <laughs> so what was meant to shame you? You it's actually fine. turned it around for your benefit. Like you mm-hmm. realized that there was positive response from it anyway. Yeah. And somebody was, right. and she was actually cashing in on your videos. You said, "Well, mm-hmm. wait a minute. Right. Hold the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Let me do this." Right. Oh. Right. And I thought about it, and I had all the resources because. I have a lot of big time friends who are in the industry like um Jason Love, he's a millionaire porn star. Yeah. I know so many Wait, he might have better well, um have sex with Adam twenty two wife. Yes, like he's my okay. friend. We're actually supposed to shoot a video. This is <laughs> no, we jump, all know it. Jump, 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 we know. Jump, I know it. Jump, 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 jump. Jump. <laughs> I have all these kind of friends around me, and I see them, and it's like. I could do this and I would have like people to help me and guide me and tell me, okay, these are the do's and the don'ts. Yeah. So I was like, man, let me try it. It won't be permanent. Let me just give it a try. But after my first week, I was like, I was like, okay, this is for me. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, which which year was this? This, what you said? Which year was this? When did you start? This year? I haven't, I think now it's about six months. Six months. I saw popularity. Yes, I'm very fresh, and um, now I'm in the 0.98%, so that's under 1% of all the creators in the whole world. And, Top earner. You know, thousands of people on the app, but... Yeah. Oh, my God. Goals. 
Oh, right. My question to you though is, um, you're saying that, so, okay, so she, you got started in it. What what was it that made it said like you said that you weren't it wasn't going to be permanent and you were gonna try it out for a week. So what was it? Was it the response that you were getting mean positive feedback or was it that the money was good or was it both? Okay. To be honest, the money was the money was right and then I genuinely had fun doing it. Mm. I liked it, I had fun and I just felt really like, you know, at peace, like this is where I belong. I just yeah. felt comfortable compared to like other jobs because I've had jobs in the past. I've worked with my father. I was his human resource assistant. I wrote the job letters. I did the nine to five. That was boring to me. I quit. Mm-hmm. I worked at a supermarket being a cashier. Like I've tried other things and it just was not for me. Yeah. I went to, I tried the college thing and I was like, you know what? Mm-mm. So wait, let's, let's Wait, back I, 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 hold on. Yeah, how much by the way? I'm 22. I'll be 23 next week. Wow. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Libra, too. Yeah. Wait, Wait are the 12 you're born? Huh? Are the 12 you're born? 13. What's your... Oh, He's okay. a 12. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I look okay. company. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Wait, so what, what, yeah. let's like dial back a bit because mm-hmm. you're, okay. you're, you're Jamaican, aren't you? Like, you, you, you were born in Jamaica? Okay, now that's the tea. I'm yes. actually not Jamaican. You're not? <gasps> I'm not. That's a tea. So basically, I was born in Antigua. The plan was that my mom wanted my mom, like everyone in my family on my mom's side is Jamaican, full blown. Oh. So my mom wanted to have me in Jamaica, but I came early. So she didn't get to make it there in time. So basically, it came after, early. right after. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. 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 I came early. Yeah. yeah. I ended up being born in Antigua and she sent me away. So the first school I ever attended was in Jamaica. I was St. Thomas. In St. Thomas, I went to like a, you know, a preschool or whatever you want to call that. Yeah. I did that. Then started primary school. And like in my like first year, my mom took me. I came back to Antigua and. It's just been a thing because I grew up in the household with solely Jamaicans. Right. You would just, you probably wouldn't really know because I was raised around them. So I'm not very, even though I lived in Antigua, I don't know the national anthem in full. Like, wow. I wasn't very in, I went to school and didn't really like, I wasn't very in touch with it. I can't cook one Antiguan dish to save my life. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but, I can, but, but tell me to cook some Akia sauce. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Just, I just grew up in that, you know, and. I always went back every summer. My mom made it her mission to send me back there. So I was very in touch with my Jamaican side. So, mm-hmm. yeah. so, wait, so where is dad from? Yeah. My dad? He's yeah. from Curacao, actually. Ah, well, you're Cari- Okay, so Caribbean. You're just Caribbean blood. But is your mom is Jamaican, mm-hmm. but she lived in yeah, Antigua. Yeah, Jamaican, so I have my Jamaican passport. So when I can't tell me, I'm going to come from that. <laughs> okay. But, but is that she, so she lived in Antigua, though? She was the one that lived in Antigua. Yeah, she moved to Antigua because, you know, sometimes you move to get a better life and stuff. Yeah. So she moved. She met my dad there and... Okay. That was that. Okay. But it's just, okay, okay, so I get it now. So that's what I was saying. Like, um, your Jamaican-ness comes from your mom. Um, and you, right. you, you come you come back and forth. Right. From, so that is why sometimes my accent sounds a bit like, mm, she sounds funny. She doesn't really sound like us. But yeah. like, mm-hmm. Okay. So now, now you're in Miami. Say you were stripping in Taboo, Miami. So yes. when you went to, so when you migrated, or are you fully migrated to? Um, yes, I'm fully migrated. I migrated in 2022, so okay. like fully. But I was working there from before because I traveled in 2021. I was here for like five months. Oh, okay. I tried it out and I really liked it. Okay, mm-hmm. so it's just back out. So okay, so I get you know. So you move from, you pretty much move from Antigua to Florida. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got it. Understood. Mm-hmm. So then you, you say you tried the the nine to five thing. <laughs> what but what was yeah. about the nine to five that was so annoying to you? The fact that I have to wake up at seven o'clock to get ready to be there for eight. Actually. Right. It wasn't even nine to five. You know, it's really eight to five. Yeah. yeah. So I had to get up so early to get there, and then 
I couldn't be on my phone much. They t- they want to tell me when I can take lunch, when I can go home, how much sick days I could have, when I can take my vacation. The taxes was ridiculous. Mm. <laughs> so they, I was like, no way, this is not it. But now yeah. you're making more, the, the more money you make, the more tax you make, and if you make more money now, you pay more taxes now, eh? Right, but then you still, with this kind of life, you have more control. Like, oh, okay. I don't have to do anything. I can do whatever I want any on, day. Like, I don't on have your to own time. Control. You know, yeah. I don't have to call anyone and say I want to take vacation. Yeah. I can just pick up my phone and say, hey, girls, let's go to Hawaii tomorrow. Because why? I don't have to call anybody and say anything to them. Mm. I, you said you tried college as well. Which college is that? Pardon me, what you said? Which college you went to? Which When you started? I went to Antigua State College. In Antigua, that would be like a sixth form. Okay. Right. Uh, pre, yeah, pre- so I was actually preparing like you know taking pre um law for cape and stuff because i wanted to originally i wanted to be a criminal lawyer like okay. my stepfather but why <laughs> <laughs> like a them like a them thing that me want want to ask you know like yeah. did you have any other discernible skills or any other persons yes. um that yes, you wanted love, to go after when I attended high school, so the high school I went to was an all girls Catholic school. Mm. Maybe that's why I like girls because my parents set me up there. So. <laughs> Do not put them in this. Do not put them in this. That was not their intention. Mom, mom, if you're watching this, this is not on you, but you know, don't speak, don't trust me today. But it was you, mom. <laughs> wow. Wait, but we the all girls school. <laughs> <laughs> and I we know you're like girls to a menorah because you didn't want to subscribe to the only thing. <laughs> you're not you're wrong there. there. Busted. You're she not it, wrong man. there. She got you it. got she me. You me. got me. You got she me. me. <laughs> so when I was when I was in high school, I represented my school on the national debate team because mm. I could always talk and I like to argue and prove my points. So. Mm, yeah. It was just a thing that I always arguing. My stepfather, as I said, he was a lawyer. I would spend a lot of time with him and read his law books. And I just really took a liking for it. I loved Law and Order. Like, any show that had to do with law and detective work, it was mm-hmm. me. Mm. So, yeah. that Same. was the plan. I mean, I think in the, near, in the near future, I do plan to go back to school because... Well, mom not gonna give me it. I'm not gonna stop here, my mother in my ears until I go back to this school. So. <laughs> speaking of, yeah, yeah, speaking right? of, how oh, yeah, your, your parents and feel about it? Yeah. How are you doing this? Oh, they, they hate it. They hate it. They of hate course. It. Well, I could imagine them. <laughs> I could imagine them looking at Avida and say, "You know what? She's doing a good job." Was it a secret yeah, at they first? Hate it and I completely understand. But the major thing about it for my family, well, for my mom and my dad, is just because. I did not come from poor, no disrespect to poor people, but I did not come from an underprivileged background. Like, yeah. My family has it. They more than have it. Like, bought me cars for my birthday. Well, yeah. I know, no, no disrespect to poor people. Oh, she's so rich. <laughs> wow. No I, no, I said no disrespect because everything I say sometimes get misconstrued and I don't want it to be that yeah. I wasn't yeah. here back in the poor. Yeah. So, I could have nine to five comments, yeah. Because, you know, they misinterpreted when I said 9 to 5. Let me make it clear. But because I grew up with that, you know, I grew up having a maid in my house that she basically lived there. She washed everything, you know. I didn't have to do nothing. So because I grew up spoiled, rotten, it was like for my family, it's like you could be anything in this world because you don't have to get a, a loan to go to college. Yeah, you had options. You don't have to sleep with no man to get no car. Yeah. You could mm-hmm. get everything. So why is this what you choose? If, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so that's the major thing for them. So, I mean, what was the first convert when Mm. when you brought it to them? Like, was it, well, first of all, how did they find out? Did you bring it to them or somebody sent it to them? Okay, well, see, as I said, remember the young lady who would have made the Twitter for me, right? At the time, I did not know it was going on. So, my mom first discovered it. She first heard about it. And she called me and she's like, do you have OnlyFans? (laughs) (laughs) So I was like, no, mommy. I was like, no, but I'm thinking about it, but I don't have it yet. <laughs> so she was like, no, you have only fans. I seen you. You have only. I'm like, you seen me? So now I'm like, oh my gosh, what did she see? And I'm, I'm going through my head because I've always been like a person that like to take videos. I'm like, why? I wonder which video them people are seeing. Like, yeah. <laughs> I've quite a few. So I'm like, jeez, I hope it's 
I hope it's not that one with that girl's boyfriend, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, wow. like, okay, let me let me go see. So mom wasn't gonna send it to me because she's like I didn't she was like she didn't really watch them. She just seen like, you know, when people send videos and you could recognize the person, but yeah. she didn't actually plays them out. So I went investigating and my Instagram was blowing up. Everyone was sending me, Oh girl, you look good. You look good. I'm like, okay. So she, my mom was like, you know, she didn't appreciate the fact, but because it wasn't me who intentionally put them out there, she wasn't too, too upset. Yeah. But then when I started to put them out there for myself, oh, she, oh, she didn't talk to me for months. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Can you imagine? When I say months, yeah. she not speak to me for months. Like, so wait, you were trying like, to call her and she wouldn't answer your phone or your what? She would not answer. She would, I would say, hey, mom, she wouldn't answer, period. See you. See, <laughs> you know, your mom left you on see. Somebody read MS That is <laughs> not my daughter. Yes, <laughs> she the left only, you. But guess what? She loved me because what she would do, she would call my aunt because she know me and my aunts are very close. And my yeah. aunt lives in Florida, and she yeah. would call my aunt and be like, to ask if I'm okay, just to make sure like my well being. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and my aunt say like, yeah, she's fine. You know, she's doing her nonsense, but she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> She doing nonsense, but she fine. <laughs> she fine. Um, oh gosh! What would you define your occupation as, right? Now? What would I define my occupation as? Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm a only fan star adult content creator. I can't say I'm a porn. I make porn, but I can't say I'm a porn star yet because I feel like that's a different level of. I'm successful, but that's a whole different level, you know? Yeah. I don't actually stream for any major porn companies yet. So I can't say, like, I'm an yet. actual Maya Khalifa. Like, those were the girls. Yeah. <laughs> but So when you say yet, that, that's your goal? That When you say yet, that means that you have the goal to be a, a to work for a porn company and be a porn star? Oh, yes, I do have that goal because... Mm. I don't know. I like it. I just genuinely like it. It doesn't make sense to other people, but it makes yeah. sense to me. It makes me happy. Yeah. I'm comfortable with it. And Were you always sexual? Were you always uh, like uh, uh, a... Uh, hold on. What, what exactly makes you happy about it? The, 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 the shooting on camera bit or just the act itself? Yeah. Just the... Okay, I just love like the... When you shoot and then just to like watch it over and see it like on the screen. I'm looking at it like... I put it up on the TV in the house, like the flat screen, just shit. a look, and I'm like, I'm like, yo, this is me for real. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, no, there is no way I look this good. I'm like, how do I look this good? And I'm, and I'm single, you know what I mean? Like, wow. <laughs> and this is all that I said. You used to do them thing that when you're younger, like video yourself. Not really. No. Oh, okay. No, I wasn't. I was. I was not sexual. Yeah. Before they're like, okay, how do I make this make sense? When I was around the age of nine and ten, my two blood brothers they molested me. Oh wow, Jaja. So, um, as a result of that, you know, that kind of messed with you. It messed with yeah. You know, it messes with me mentally and stuff. Yeah. So, I started having sex at sixteen, and um, from about sixteen years old to up until about like. 2021 my sex my sex life was like i would i was hypersexual but it was in a way in which i would have sex and then when i'm finished i would cry and throw up like literally like throw up my whole life like feeling so disgusted like just wow. dirty yeah and, I would, and sometimes i would cry while having sex um, you I were had crying while you were having sex yes like, i would just start to cry and he would he would feel so bad you know mm-hmm. but I just realized that I had a lot. Now, I wouldn't say hard because I still have them. I'm working on them, but I still do have certain sexual traumas that, you know. Mm. And then um, when I turned 18, mm-hmm. this is going to sound like something straight out of a movie, though. My brother, one of the brothers who did what he did, his best friend raped me. Oh, my so, God. It was like really, it just, to me, it felt like it was a setup, like it's something mm. that he purposely planned um, so, you know, when you just think that so you're working on one thing and you're healing something, yeah, and yeah. Stuff, mm. it was just like a major um, setback. Mm-hmm. 
Um, it was in the newspaper. Um, I was a bit, as I said, I was a bit hypersexual and a lot. Of, Wait, I which was, newspaper in Antigua? Or it was in, in the newspaper in Antigua. Yes, Ange- it was in the news in Antigua. They didn't put my name, but um, eventually people found out and they started to post my name on social media. And as oh. I said, because I was already hypersexual, you know, people talk. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. people talk. So because I was already, I was already acting out. I was already why like dressing skimpy doing it quick you know yeah. so uh, instantly no one was to my defense when uh, victim hurt, blame yeah and they shamed you, know, you. they shamed me all yeah. said oh look at how she dressed yeah oh, look at the things she posts yeah oh yeah. look at the places and the people she hang out with oh remember she sleeps around so who took you know like yeah so you deserve it um, then, automatically which is some bullshit right yeah. you know i always talk i would always talk about oh girls and the not to have sex with guys who not doing anything for them. Make sure the man that you sleep with helps you, you know? Mm-hmm. So, you know, instantly when you say something like that, people's oh, it's the prostituting. Mm-hmm. That's what you, that, the angle that they tried to paint it as, that he was supposed to pay me, he didn't. It was just a whole mess. Um, He did go to prison for, a, he went to prison for one year, then we were supposed to go back to court. The justice system is completely trash. <laughs> one a year? year? And one this is year, something ongoing. Yeah. So yeah, it's ongoing. So then he got big, like it's after the year. They let him out. Then we're supposed to go, but they didn't say anything for like years. Then in 2021, they messaged me while I was in Jamaica. Like they got in contact with my mom, got in contact with me. And they were like, you know, the case is now ready. You know, if I could come to Antigua, that's why I went to Antigua. And they wasted my time once more. Mm-hmm. This year as well, they said we have the case this year. In about April, I got prepared for it and everything, only for them to postpone it again. And at that point, this happened since 2018, we're in 2023. I was like, you know what? Nah, I'm just going to drop this case because I don't need to constantly talk about it, go over it, over and over, every year. I don't want to talk about it every year and nothing. So wait, done. so it's a case where you have to go to the judge mm-hmm. and relive it every year in order for him to be sentenced. That is that. Right. Like why you, wow. yes, because when they call, they have, they assigned you a case officer. So when yeah. he calls, he, he basically wants me to re to read over my statement. Yeah. It's a mm-hmm. statement in details of what happened. Yeah. I read it over in 2018. I read it over in 21. You want me to read? I read it over in 2022. Red right, over in 2023. Like at some point, I don't want to keep reading this. Yeah. Exactly. For just to get a year in prison, that's ridiculous. Like yeah. average is not like seven years for us. Like on average, and depending on the, I guess, um, if he's like aggravated or even more trumped up charges, the the more years he spent. But average is seven years, I think, in Jamaica at least. Yeah. Right, really so one year for it was charges. crazy. Oh my. It was wild. Oh my gosh. Hold on, Nari, so I said running out of time. All right, so. Okay. Well, if anything, we have to call her back because yeah. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I mean, only for people would listen to yeah, okay. all that they just reveal. And they would say, oh, now it makes sense about why she do, does what she does. You know, trauma and the abuse. Would you say that that is part of the reason why you end up doing what you do? Definitely. One thing about me, I'm very real and I'm very upfront. So I always say to myself sometimes, I'm like, do do you feel like if certain things didn't happen, mm. you'd be doing differently? Yeah. And, and I honestly will say yes. And it's just if you check the statistics, a lot of a lot of porn stars or adult country creators or girls that are in this lifestyle have been molested, have been raped. They have some sort of traumas. Mm-hmm. A lot of them, like a lot of my friends that are in it, co-stars, they have, even the males too, they have traumas. Mm. And is it, Not everyone, but majority. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And is it a case where, I mean, even for you, because you said that, you know, you you were throwing up when you had sex. You, you were crying. crying during sex. So what what about it now when you're on camera? What is it like for you to... It's like, I really hated it. And it was like, because I hated sex and I, did, I didn't like it. And I really like, you know, it's a normal thing. Everyone speaks about it like it's a great thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I need to like begin liking this thing. So I started therapy. That, didn't, that wasn't really... It was okay for the most part, but it wasn't working out. And then um, 
I met a guy and became very close, but the way in which we're close, it was a more so, because mo- as I said, because of hypersexual, most of the, I never really connected to men. Mm. Yeah. But like on an emotional level, it was just sex and nothing. Like, it was a type of like, I can have sex with you and go home and block you. Matter of fact, if we have sex, I don't want to see you tomorrow. Because wow. I'm disgusted with you. It was that, like, I'm disgusted. So even like we're having a boyfriend, you know, that relationship went up in flames because I'm tired of him. I want some, like, it was And it so wasn't mess, because you know? of sex is bad. It wasn't great either, but... <laughs> but then again, in his, defense, in his defense, how would really I know when, as I said, I hated sex with everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. you probably never eat at like yourself. Mm. Say, probably I'm going to have to circle the black now. Circle back the black and yeah. circle mm-hmm. the black now. Yeah, yeah. So, but I'm sure they might never go pay, you know? Oh, yeah. I'm oh, trying yeah. to get free again, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, your boyfriend. That's different. It's your boyfriend. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I don't do boyfriends. You don't do boyfriends? You don't do boyfriends? Is it because... Of... I don't do... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, why? Why not? Okay. Um, I'm not a monogamous being, and I came to terms with that. Okay. okay. I don't want to be monogamous. So, not unless I'm going to have a boyfriend that is okay with, a, with me having a other boyfriend. Yeah, I want to be in a poly relationship, so... You know, that's not so easy to come by. Mm-hmm. True. True. Right. Yeah. And because it's weird because know, men want to be polyamorous with a girl who's monogamous. Mm-hmm. So they want to right. have different girlfriends, but they want their girlfriend to, to just be have them. just for them. And yeah, I guess you're not in that dynamic. No speak for me. Exactly. Yeah. So the type of men Most that men. I like and I'm attracted to, they're not into those kind of they want their girl to be for them alone. Yeah. So, and on the flip side, you're hard. okay with that? Pardon me? On the flip side, you're okay with your man having multiple females? Yes, I don't mind him mm. having a girlfriend. I actually, I like, I like it. Like, I don't know, it sounds rude, but I like to watch those stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you're like, bring her I, in. I would want to watch. I would. I don't even have to be a part of it, if, you know. But I would want to sit and watch, like you know, my man, you know, do the things with this girl. Mm. So you can join. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? That's, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> Is it that you want to see how he fucks from a from an outside perspective? Because we're in it, but like you're seeing him having sex with someone else. Like that's the thing that gets yeah, you. Yeah, I want to see him. I want to see him happen. You know, it just turns me on. It's not yeah. positive, I like. Yeah. You know, have them twisted thoughts in my mind and say, oh, oh I'm a deal with her, so like, like, same, like her better than me. Like, you know, have them thoughts in my mind. No. You, you see, because I'm so conceited, I'm my head big, I'm full of confidence, I just believe that no girl fucks him better than me. Oh, sorry. Uh, I believe that. <laughs> yeah. I, believe, I, believe, yeah, I believe that no girl does the things them to him better than me. <laughs> Well, we're okay. getting on some of those things, by the way. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. But I just want to go back a little bit, though. I mean, I narrow it the job because I was saying, like, you know, trying to work through the issues that you were having, the traumas that you were having. I don't want to say it's therapeutic for you, but it felt like it was therapy for you, like going, being on camera. It felt like therapy to be able to, like, yeah, confront like and said, own your sexuality in that sense. Like, that's what I mean, like, how right, you work like through I be- I began like when I met the guy that I said I was very close to and um he was very like he always wanted to take videos right mm-hmm. I don't know if it was some kind of weird therapy he was doing with me but he'd always want to take videos and he was tell me watch them back watch them back and see how they make you feel right mm-hmm. and when we, him and I would watch them back together and he would tell him you look good like he would be meanwhile we watched them he would like Af- you know, give me like affirmations. You're like, you yeah. look good, don't you see? Tell yourself that you like this, you know? Yeah. And then I realized, like, I actually like this. I actually like it. And he, um, that guy, um, he invented, um, he's the one who invented, you know, the water park that everybody loves. Oh, so he called because it. He I, he nicknamed you that. Yes, because I did. First of all, I did not know that I could could do that that thing. Wow. I didn't know. Yeah, so when is it when is it that you discovered your water powers? 
Yes, so I discovered it. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2022. Ah, okay. So, so one year with the power. <laughs> yes, I just because as I said, I've been having sex since I was 16, and all these years I could not do it. So, yeah. so walk us through the process. So you discovered the powers. Well, <laughs> we went. We went. So we got super drunk. Like, well, I was super drunk. He wasn't drunk because I cannot manage liquor. Okay. So I was lit, lit. Like, couldn't even wait. So we got back to the hotel to get this thing started. I get it started in the back seat while the driver was driving us. So <laughs> we reached back and we're having a vibe. You know, I have my rose. And he was like, take out the rose. Because I always bring all my toys over there for fun. But he's like, take out the rose. No, I make him hold it. Because I had a little style. What I do is like, I'd hold the rose under, you know, but I wouldn't really, I'll be cheating. So I'm not ready to be. Pushing it down on the right spot where right. it's supposed to feel it, you know? Yeah. I'm cheating. So, in the midst of we're doing what we're doing, he takes control of the rules this time. Because he must realize, he must have realized, okay, I'm cheating, right? So, <laughs> he takes control, like he pulls it down, like applies pressure on the. In missionary, I was like, okay. I didn't know, like, I felt the feeling. I was like, what the hell? Like, why do I feel like sex? Something I go on, like, a feeling, you know what? Something different. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that, like what water spraying every wow. <laughs> him went up, him chest went up, the bed went up. Wow. Up. Were you shocked? I like, like oh. I was shocked as hell. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. I was like, I've only seen these things in in, in like porn, you know, yeah. like, on the TV. Like, I was like, I've never seen it in real life from me. So I'm like, okay, you know, this is crazy. So when did you get control? Like, when did you start to get control of your powers? So I went home and I'm like, let me practice. <laughs> um, I did of course, you have a pra- practice it. makes perfect, of course. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. I practiced with the rose. But I, when I started practicing with the rose, I was only doing the rose by itself. Mm-hmm. I realized that, okay, um, it wasn't working with just the rose alone. So I was like, okay, well, when I was doing it with the guy, he also had... His, you know, with in missionary, so his penetration with um, the stimulation. Right. So I was like, okay, I need to do both. So I need to get a dildo and I need to also have the clit stimulated, both at the same time. And it was just, it's from there. That's it. That was like yeah. learning from that. It was just, it wasn't some, I didn't miss from there. It was a sure thing after that. So you so you're able to do it on your own and I need nobody know like you just know when oh. and how. Oh yes. You know if you check the Twitter you'll see. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I've been checking it for reference. Oh, wow, wow. Cute slim girl when no fit tech. Come on fit thing no no when name stop. Yeah a big chat well try different that stand in of your channel when me chick land drop watch. Make it up 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 make it up 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 up. Spin pop my body Natural but the queen rolling you want a kid Me organic, a the volcanic No for them a pre cause them no so we a fit Naturally, them can't manage Confidence a peak never peer down for it 